this country between the right and the left is raging. Since the right has no answers to the economic questions we face, they've decided to concentrate on dividing the country on so-called moral issues. <laughs> One of those being the demonizing of gay and lesbian people. Little by little, they're losing the battle as we see individually uh, states legalizing gay marriage and recognizing that our forefathers intended that all creations of humans are equal. And marriage is an equal right, but that doesn't stop the right from carrying on their battle. Something terrible happened this past weekend in Maryland, and the fact that it was Maryland, a state that has just proclaimed that all are equal and has enshrined that concept into state law, goes to highlight the lengths to which the right will go. In this instance, the right was personified by Father Marcel Guarnizo, who officiated at the funeral of a former family member of mine. My friend Barbara, the daughter of the deceased woman, was denied communion at her mother's funeral. She was the first in line, and Father Guarnizo covered the bowl containing the host and said to her, I cannot give you communion because you live with a woman. And that is a sin, according to the church. <laughs> to add insult to injury, Father Guarnizo left the altar when she delivered her eulogy to her mother. And when the funeral was finished, he informed the funeral director that he could not go to the gravesite to deliver the final blessing because he was sick. I'll tell you a little bit about the woman who drove that priest from the altar. She is kind. She is smart. She is funny, and she works hard promoting the arts. She pays her bills. She cares deeply for her family, and she loved her mother, and her mother loved her right back. And now she'll never set foot in a Catholic church again, and who can blame her? It's time for Christians of all stripes to stop and think about the teachings of the Jesus they proclaim to love so deeply and revere so much. I spent 12 years in Catholic school, and the Jesus I was told about would never have turned away anyone for any reason, and certainly not on the occasion of burying a parent. Father Guarnizo has a lot to learn about Christianity and the Catholic Church has a lot to learn about the teachings of Jesus if behavior of this sort is tolerated. I'm not about to paint all Christians with a broad cloth. There are those out there who understand that the teachings of Jesus boil down to one thing, and that thing is love. For if you love, you do not deny a person the solace of communion with the Creator. And if that is their belief, let them do so. If you judge not, lest ye be judged. Only God knows the true heart of any person. And in the end, if there is to be judgment, it will not come from some misguided, prejudiced priest who needs to go back to the seminary and learn the basics. And if he can't find them there, then he needs to get down on his knees and pray to his Jesus to forgive him the terrible trespasses he visited upon the grieving woman on the occasion of the death of her mother. <coughs> this is but one small story, but it is indicative of the battle raging in America today. It is an ugly battle, and one I never thought that I would see. But it is here. And we must deal with it. We must keep politics out of religion and religion out of politics. Perhaps if we can get back to the place where the separation of church and state are once again accepted as one of the founding principles of this country, stop trying to out-Christian each other, stop vilifying other religions and other people based on pure human and not godly concepts, and perhaps we will again begin to mend the fractures that are tearing us apart today. 
to do that, the Father Dornizos and the Rick Santorums of the world will have to undergo a radical change of heart, and frankly, I don't think they have it in them. So it's up to us. As for me, I send my love and condolences to my friend Barbara and all of the other family members who were made to witness such an egregious display of prejudice in such an inappropriate setting. To Father Gornizo, I say, Jesus, would we?